So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and this is another edition of Tax Fridays, this time number 51. <laughs> I'm still not at the levels of uh, Excel is fun, I think it's like 1823, <laughs> that's exactly this number, but uh, we are going up. Um, in today's video we're actually going to talk about a measure called average X and you might say okay how hard can it be to calculate averages well this is DAX and complicated things are easy and easy things are complicated so just hang along to see how compli calculated average can be <laughs> complicated stay tuned so first of all let's do what we always do look at the documentation for microsoft documentation for this measure and uh, let's see what it says it says it calculates the average of an expression evaluated over a table and we will go through this in a second what it means so the syntax is you have average x and then you get the table and then you have the possibility to add an expression to it and it will return a decimal number there are some remarks and uh, this is how the actual measure works that it calculates the average over a table and uh, it follows the same rules as average uh, you cannot include non-numeric or null cells both the table and the expression arguments are required and uh, when there are no rows to aggregate it returns a blank if the rows does not meet the criteria specified here, it returns zero, okay? And here they have an example. Now, I've already included the average X on our Power BI glossary. So the video is not here yet because I am recording it, but as soon as I'm ready, I will publish it here and you will be able to see it. Um, I will have here the link for download and here you can give me feedback both if you like the video or you like the explanation and then you can give me some comments as how to improve this page. And uh, I have here as suggest a term and function so you can actually let me know if there is any function that you would like me to explain and I can add that on future videos, okay? So, without any more delay, let's start doing some averages. So, here we are in Power BI. This is the North Wind dataset that we always use. For those of you that are new, it's a dataset that is available on the web that you can just pull information from. It's an old dataset. And I will have details on the description box in case you want to use it. You will be able to get these files. You will be able to connect to it if you want to. But what we have here is a very simple table. We have year and then we have the total sales. And what we want to know is the average of sales over the years. Okay, so we want to take these three numbers and do the average. And in Excel, it is very easy, right? You just get these three numbers. Let's do it. We go in there, we create a new measure and we say average. And I'm going to give you a hint already that this is not the way to do it and what you would probably write is average and then you get the sales column right my god total sales okay you do that you put it in there and what you see is not what you expect right so that is not what we ex what we want to do what this is actually doing, this average function, is going back to the order details where the sales are and is doing the average per year. So the average sale in 1997, it was 583 euros. And the average sale in 98 uh, was 600. But that's not what we wanted. We wanted to have the average of these. So how do we do that? Okay, so now we know how we are not supposed to do it. Let's see how we build this so it actually works. So as you can imagine, the function that we need to use is average 
X because we are doing a tutorial on that. But other, other than that, Y. So let's start. Average X, if you remember from Microsoft documentation, you first need a table. So in this case, what we want is, let's write years goes faster. What we want is a table with that contains all the years. Like you see here, 1997, 1998, 1996. It's in funny order, but it's ordered by cells. So this will give us a table with all the years, and then we want to have the sum of sales, right? So we have a measure for that called sales, and sales is just the sum of sales. I'll show you in a second. So sales is there. It's just the sum of sales, nothing special. So this will return a table, this table, and that we will get, uh, the average X will take that table and calculate the average, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. So if we put average X in there, as you can see, is now giving us the right results. So it's given the average for these three years. And of course the average will be the same for all three. So now you know how to calculate average. You might think that it should be easier, but it's just the way that DAX works and filters data and works with tables that makes a few things a little bit more complex. But now, you, now that you know what's going on, it's very easy to understand. Great. So. We are ready with another Dax Friday video. So this is the end of a, another week, of another Friday, and of another Dax Friday. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, and it was a step towards being a Dax expert. If you like the video, as usual, let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions about the video, let me know in the comment box or on the social channels listed below. And um, make sure you subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday and Wednesday I publish at 8 o'clock and Fridays at 2 o'clock. Okay, that is Swedish time. Click the bell to receive notifications on when I publish a new video and fill in the DAX Friday survey if you want to give me feedback about how am I doing it and if you would like to have a new function explained. Okay, so with that said, have a great weekend. Bye.